What's going on everybody? I'm Dan with Dancy Little Performance and we're going to do a little experiment today on the VSR balancer. From time to time we get customers that say they put a new turbocharger in their truck and they have oil coming out the exhaust. They say that the oil seals in the turbo are bad. Well, contrary to belief, there are no oil seals on the shaft per se. There are these little steel piston rings that go around the shaft and their job is not to keep oil in the turbo, but to keep exhaust pressure and boost pressure out from going into the center. The only reason why you would have oil coming through these seals is either the drain is restricted, or you know, it's got a blockage. Uh, sometimes people will put a, a rag in there when they have the turbo out to prevent dirt from falling in, or maybe a plug of some sort, or maybe they kink the line, putting it back in, uh, or maybe it's got a one of those AN drain lines and that's kinked, that's a possibility. Or there's a restriction in the PCV system causing positive crankcase pressure. Uh, pressure's gotta find a way to go. It's gotta escape somehow. So one of the first areas that it goes after is the little gaps in the piston rings here. Uh, now these are the piston rings that are supposed to be in this turbocharger. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run the turbo on the VSR. It simulates how it operates in the truck flows oil through it at 58 PSI and we're going to show both sides of the turbo in operation to show that even without these seals in there it's not going to leak oil. We do have oil still flowing through it right now, and the shaft is barely spinning, and there's no oil coming out the exhaust side either. So looking at the turbine shaft, this groove right here is where that piston ring would sit. That, that's going to prevent the exhaust pressure from going around the turbine wheel and into the cartridge. So we have the bearing, and oil is going to be on the inside of the bearing and on the outside. As it splashes out here, you see we have this little bit of a uh, groove there. In combination with the shaft spinning, what that does is it flings the oil off. So oil cannot go beyond this groove here unless it is assisted with a restrictive drain or pressure. Same thing goes on the thrust bearing side. Oil splashes off here, it gets flung out there. You have these vent holes here that fling it off that's coming through the thrust bearing. That's where your piston ring sits there. And that just prevents the boost from going in. So that's how a turbocharger works. And uh, if you've got oil coming out your exhaust, either you have a restrictive drain, a positive crankcase pressure situation, or the final answer is the bearings are shot and this thing's wobbling all over the place but that's pretty obvious hope this helps thanks for watching